left mouse button heals people. You see right there? Right mouse button heals you heals yourself so let's just do that to show you oh hit me up with that stuff now you can see the number went to zero now it's filling back up it's basically recharging it won't go back to 55 the number it goes up to is pretty random as far as I can tell it stopped at 52 so say you're in a firefight you're, fi you're, you're, you're fighting some dudes or some things because there are some weird things. I fought some werewolf things last mission. Uh, so you take a bunch of damage. You end up running away. Ah, run away, run away. Make sure to find a quiet spot. Make sure there's no enemies fighting you. Heal up. But don't put it away. Let it charge back up. Because if you put it away, and you're like, oh, I take you down, I take you down. Oh, I'm a samurai. Oh, I got hurt again. Let me just go back to my syringe and fill up. It should be charged up by now. Oh, look. It's, it stopped charging. Now it has to go back up. It only charges when it's out. From what the developer, whose name is Shaki or something, who is, frequ who is frequenting the Steam forums of this game, you know, providing help to those who are having trouble with the game, asking people to report bugs and pretty much telling people that there are patches coming out immediately which is pretty cool I like it when developers do that he said before they had the syringe charge up when it's in your inventory when it's not currently equipped but they found it to be overpowered so they decided to only allow it to charge up when you have it out so let it charge up before you put it away because when you get into some serious shit and you need to heal you might not get enough healing from your healing needle I think I showed off a good amount uh... you have a flashlight in this game you can reload quicker thanks to the weapon interface apparently I don't really do that but I, sometimes in dark areas I like to do this this guy will give you secondary missions or at least allude to giving you the secondary missions it, the way to get the secondary missions, apparently, I guess, is go to the these doors. Once you finish an area, they, you'll unlock more. And you're basically going back to the area you were at, I think. And that would... They would start streaming secondary missions to you. I don't know what the secondary missions are. Either it's like, hey, get this guy, get this thing, or... Or... Kill 50 of these, maybe. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that. I'll, I'm going to check it out after I'm done with the next few mi few areas first. But, yeah, this game is made on the Source Engine. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, it looks great. An indie game made by 12 people. Look at this. Pretty cool. Real gothic. Steampunky. Pretty awesome. I get, I kind of get a uh, Warhammer 40k vibe by, like, the fact that your guy's a warrior monk and... A lot of the guys in here are dressed all, dressed all, uh, uh, space marine I guess. They look like space knights. A lot of them with the heavy armor. Uh, where's the B button? Oh, no, that's, you kind of see here, top parts kind of look all space marine real bulky. You know, as, as, as someone who super, super into the Warhammer 40k universe but who but but knows next to nothing Whee! super jump I really like I don't even know what I'm talking about all right I like the 40k Warhammer 40k universe I know next to nothing about it I read one book which is Angels of Death by Hob Gob that this is a good book. I forgot his name. G H. Yeah. This game kind of scratches an itch of mine because I'm antsy to play Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I pre-ordered it on Steam, and I got the Blood Ravens chapter skin, so I'm kind of excited about that. I'm kind of sad they don't have a Dark Angels chapter skin 
but yeah, it's cool. I'm pretty sure they might release it as DLC or it might even be unlockable in the game. Not sure if you can use the skin in single player or if it's just multiplayer. But yeah, let's 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 not get off track. Let me continue talking about this. That's creepy. <clears throat> you see here, this is the archives if you wanna buy if you're more inclined to play a psionic psychic power user you come here go to the guy come on now go to the guy who is marked with that Y icon and he'll sell you psionic abilities like uh, let me see what kind of abilities I never checked it out man I'm heavy Uh, transmutation, which creates a clone of you whom equipment resists to the side level. Madness, I guess it's, uh, makes people go makes people go crazy. Invocation, dragon, pretty cool stuff here. I'm more of a I've always been a dude you look awesome I've always been a not a uh, I'm gonna run up to I'm, I'm gonna run up to them and start doing damage I'm like I'm kind of like that but I like to stay behind behind dudes and pick them off but not too far back to where I'm away from the action I've only played a few MMOs and I've always been like the warrior guy but I've always like I wanted to try out healers and whatnot, but yeah, the way I've set up my guy here is pretty much, pretty much, uh, pretty much, it's pretty much how I play. Was I, did I explain the controls yet? No, I didn't, did I? WASD, basic. If you played first person shooters, you know a majority of the controls. WASD to move, shift, hold shift to run, hold crouch to. I mean, control to crouch. Uh, left mouse. I mean, right mouse button does this. Right mouse button. Left mouse. God damn it. Left. Right mouse button does that. Left mouse button shoots. Uh. Yeah, the training room. It's not really a training room. So I don't really do anything there. Medical. That's where I bought my cloning thing. You buy more things there. I've noticed that. It's more, you need a high hacker level, so it might be more more for hackers. Archive, that's right there, where you buy your, sign your psychic abilities. And you also could read up on the, on the lore of the game, the history of the game. There's a lot of lore, apparently. I only know what I've read on the Steam, Steam uh, game description, which is basically your mentor. No. You are a agent of this organization. You're also a, mem a member of the Cutler Clan, who's at war with the Gian Clan, Gian, Gian Clan, and you guys were like friends in the past, but now things have gone uh, gone awry, and you two are like in a cold war with each other. But but now you're, you're like you're fighting against mega co a co a mega corporation or mega corporations. You're also fighting against like a federation, federal government type of thing. So you two have to like call like a temporary peace or something. But there's like a conspiracy going on with your master and the higher ups of this organization. Something like that. I'm probably I'm I am probably butchering the hell out of this out of this story. Or something like that. The fact that I don't know too much about it doesn't mean the story's bad. I, I just didn't take the time to read up on a lot of this stuff. I've mainly been shooting guys and slicing dudes. Oh, right. I forgot to show you this. If you... Left mouse button does this. Right mouse button blocks. You can block bullets. Not not like Gray Fox, Metal Gear Solid, where you're you know, someone unloads and you're like pew 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 type of thing. You hold the right mouse button to block, bullets come at you, 
they'll automatically connect with your sword but it won't be kind of but you'll see like a nano shield kind of pop up a little bit around the area where the bullet hit it's a pretty cool effect if you hold if you hold the left mouse button you'll make it you'll charge up your attack like this you stand still you do like left and right attacks and going left a bunch and you go right if you move up and down maybe left and right or you, you're sprinting towards your enemy you come straight down even if you jump this attack this charge attack may be straight down strike I've noticed to be a one-shot kill if you if you hit the, the enemy right uh, I like rolling with this, <clears throat> mainly because it, I like Japanese swords. I have like two, not traditionally made in Japan, but more like $800 swords made by people who know how to make them. Uh, swords light up different colors. This one light up, lights up red. And is that an eye? No way, there's an eye right above the guard. That is super creepy Leap. uh... what else, what else, what else I think that's about it for this area I was gonna make this video like 15 minutes long but I myself can't play this game for 15 minutes and then just stop that's how much I like the game whether you like it it's completely up to you but I made I'm I'm I'm, make, I'm recording this video to you know help those on the fence, and plus you know spread the word. If you guys are if you guys are members of the GiantBomb.com community, you should email, PM, Twitter, bomb, whatever the guys over there at GiantBomb.com ask them to do a quick look of this. I can see Jeff playing this because it's a first person shooter. I could totally see him playing this. I want Dave to be there because, you know, Dave's awesome. He he got me in the PC game. Uh, I started game. I, I, I started playing games on my PC. I, I, I spent the money to get a gaming rig made for me back in December. So I've not been, I'm not a PC gamer like like everybody else who games PC, who, who games on their PC. I'm still like a fledged, a fledgling. Yeah, this place looks awesome. Look at this real steampunky, gothic, warhammer type of. There we go. Look at that armor. Look at that armor, and look at that gun. Serious. Oh, what's, oh, don't, 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 don't fall. Uh, another thing, if you're in the hub, in the central hub here, in this hub world, don't, don't, don't kill anybody. You kill an NPC who will sell you something, he is gone until your next playthrough. It's very Demon Souls-like. If you've, if you've played Demon Souls, it's just like that. You kill the equivalent of, uh, Stockpile Thomas. I think that's I think that was that was his name. That guy is gone to the next place. Medical training room. 